Hello world, this is going to be Random Fix, and today I'm going to be talking about uh, this cheap, inexpensive $20 scanner and why uh, everybody should actually have this in their car. I have this in my uh, Toyota Camry, I have a 2010 Camry that I uh, just carry it in and I've used it to save people a bunch of money and troubleshoot uh, problems on their car on the spot. So when you plug this into your OBD2 port, uh, and then you want to make sure that your car, the ignition system is on. So what that means is those lights are all lit up, like the battery light, right? The oil light, those are all lit up. That means your ignition is on. You're not in accessory mode. When that is on, you'd plug the this uh, Maxi scan uh, in, into there. And what it will do is uh, it will communicate with the car. I'll have a link to the product below where you can get it for cheap. I think it even comes with free shipping, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but uh, let me go back to here. Turn off the light so you guys can get a better view. So this is not only scans your car's problems. I'm going to show you, like, if you're buying a car, how you can tell if you're getting a good car or not on the spot. So first, uh, these are uh, diagnostic trouble codes, DTCs, okay? So when you push enter, it says no codes found. This is my own personal car. I didn't think any codes were going to be found anyway. I have not cleared it. But this is the most important part right here. You can erase the codes. You do not want to erase codes for unless you've made a repair, uh, which the car should sometimes detect it itself, but uh, that's a different uh, story. But uh, you normally don't want to erase it. Uh, so these are right here, the monitors, right? So this is how you can tell if you're buying a good car or a bad car. So right here it says MIL off. This is a mul uh, malfunction light uh, indicator, illuminator, basically the check engine light. It says that it's off, right? So the same thing on my dash. When I turn the car on, my check engine light is not on. This is to make sure somebody does not go back there and pull the check engine light. Misfire ready. So that part is ready. The fuel system is ready. The CCM is ready, right? The catalytic is uh, ready. And the HCM is non-applicable. The EVAP is ready. This has something to do with your your fuel system and the EVAP system. So like the vapors. And the two air system is NA. The AC system is NA. O the oxygen sensor is ready. The, the other HO2S is ready right and the EGR is ready so the main thing you're looking for is if I go and erase this watch and you, you can actually check the VIN number too so if you were interested in making sure that somebody didn't go and replace the computer you can do that there but if I go ahead and erase all these codes the erase is done now I go back to that same IM monitor setting on here and now I'm going to get everything is going to be, most things are not going to be, that was weird. I'm going to have to do this video again. Alright, let me go and start the car to maybe see something happen. So, let me do a quick rescan before I do that because to get these monitors ready, it's going to take a while. There you go. So, see how right now it says not ready? So, I would probably have to drive this car for a few days to get all these ready, especially things like the catalytic converter. Uh, those are sometimes the last to come online. This is a Toyota, so they're pretty easy. Certain cars uh, are really tricky to get their, them ready for the emissions test. And I happen to live in California, so uh, they're really difficult to get ready. I've had people try for months and uh, to complete a drive cycle. And uh, they have not uh, had any luck until they bring it into me and I 
have a few tricks up my sleeve about completing drive cycles. Uh, not on all cars, on some cars. Um, but uh, that's how that's how you do it on here. And then this particular device just plugs into the OBD2 port. So this goes uh, on any 1996 and newer. Um, this plugs in. A little disclosure: this particular device does not work on Hondas. I have no idea why. I think they use a CAN system. Uh, it's a, basically a different protocol. And uh, I would, uh, I'll, I'll send a, I'll have a link for a different product that actually works on the Hondas and is a little bit more. Uh, user friendly uh, it's got a color display and it, it tells you everything at once but the main thing you want to be able to see is if all the monitors are ready if all the monitors are ready it means you have a pretty good chance of getting a good car now you just got to go drive it warm it up uh, and then go make sure the transmission is not slipping uh, but I would give this particular product given the price uh, and what can actually do it can work on an Audi a Porsche Cayenne. I use it on my sister's uh, Porsche Cayenne all the time. Uh, Toyotas, hybrids, Priuses, any car except for Honda. So I give this a thumbs up. A 1996 and newer. You want to have this in your car, and it comes with a CD, so you can go ahead and uh, troubleshoot some of the problems on, on your own. And uh, let me know what you guys think about the video. Have a great day, and thank you for watching.